to daylight. But um, yeah, a really strong renewal, I think, of the of the Chiefly Park. Yeah, daylight. Who was behind Rashabar and uh, a whistle jacket when last seen, and that was 41 days ago. So they're loading up ahead of the Judmont Chiefly Park Stakes over six furlongs. Our third race at Newmarket and first of the Group One for the juveniles is Stuart. Set. They're off, breaking out over six furlongs. The Group 1 Judmont Cheveley Park stakes Selendine in the dark blue and white came out very quickly. Now there's a difference of opinion as to where they want to race. There's a group of three are racing on the right, being led by Ryan Moore on Lake Victoria in the blue and orange, tracked by Babouche the pink cap and Rayevka in the emerald green, who isn't really settling. Meanwhile, on the left, the group of four there are led by Selendine to Arabian Dusk in the orange and black and Leah Vanni with a red cap and Dave light in the yellow and green is waiting in the slipstream of that trio moving on down through the halfway point well grouped here lake victoria perhaps just has the overall advantage but it's a small one to selendine in the dark blue and white leavan is ridden along babouche with a pink cap is now moving through rayevka on the extreme right on the extreme left arabian dust selendine now under pressure making a move in the yellow is daylight but it's lake victoria who quickens up down into the dip and powers on here, goes two lengths clear. Arabian Dusk is chasing and then Daylight, but Lake Victoria is stretching away. She remains unbeaten and gives Aidan O'Brien a record-breaking success in the Judmont Chiefly Park over Daylight and Arabian Dusk and Babouche back in fourth. Lake Victoria very well supported before the off and she has run out a very comfortable winner of the Group 1 Jarmont Chevely Park back in distance no problem whatsoever and daylight between herself and the rest which may well have been daylight back into second yes it was and Arabian Dust back in third then Babouche back in fourth but um, you were pretty positive about her back in distance no problem whatsoever she was the pick of your paddock very well supported goodness me she's fairly bolted up uh, she's she's obviously a really t really good filly isn't she to to drop back in trip and be as as impressive and devastating as she was dropping back in distance Ryan Moore was was positive but controlled he didn't go gung ho and go out sort of setting a uh, a really sh strong pace. He was happy to sit off Selendine but lead his little group on the near side. But when she's opened up, she's gone clear pretty readily. And you could pick her out the winner from some way out, really, because Babouche, who was following, had been way too keen early. This is a race that eluded um, Aidan O'Brien for quite some time. He won it with Brave Anna. 2016 Clemmy, Fairyland and Tenebrism subsequently this could be the best of his winners very much of this race I suspect Luke she is I suspect, it, yeah, I suspect she is the best of his winners of this race and uh, given that she's already proven herself over seven furlongs she's seen out her seven furlong races in the manner of a filly that will definitely stay a mile for her to then open up and be as impressive as she has it's just in it, testament to a clearly her natural ability isn't it that yeah. she can be as versatile as that and as dominant as that over different distances as a two-year-old so what lots to look forward to what hasn't babouche done right here well she's just pulled too hard early hasn't she she's maybe maybe she's not helped by the fact that there was a fractured uh, group of horses they they, they went, went into two groups and she was in the smaller group over the far side and she's at being asked to race on an undulating track for the first time as well and that's maybe lit her up but she was a bit too keen um, just in a moment the door closes on her a little bit as Lake Victoria just edges across to her right but it's nothing significant in my opinion she runs, she runs okay but she just didn't settle well enough early on to give herself the best chance she looks as though she's got a real sort of high stride frequency, like a real sort of sprinting, mm. sprint mover, if you like, the, the winner. The, the way, the, you know, I know she's, she's plied her trade over seven, but um, she's got bags of pace. She has got a lot of pace, then it'll be interesting what they decide to do with her. I mean, obviously, she's, a, she's just a very good filly, isn't she? She's, she's clearly proven that already with two Group 1 wins, but to drop back in trip and have, be as comfortable as she was over the distance, taking on the best other juvenile fillies was a, was a superb performance from her, but I still don't have any doubt, Tom, that this is a filly that will stay a mile next year. Well, she's um, atop the betting for the, for the 1,000 guineas now. 3-1 to one favourite with Coral, have told us, and, and Unibet the same price as well. Dave will tie up some of those other prices for us as well, but, I mean, that was where I was going to go next. Now she's done this over a sprint distance. Does that make you question the mile next year, but not a no, bit of it? No, not, 